Hello, fellow travelers. Welcome back to RTE Travel Talk. I'm Ken Lawrence, and today we have something special for you. We're just back from a 10-day Caribbean cruise with Silver Sea, one of the top luxury cruise lines. So I thought we'd explore our exquisite ship, the Silver Shadow, and what you can expect on board. So buckle up, and let's set sail for the world of unparalleled luxury. So, first things first, let's dive into the ship's tail of the tape. First launched in 2000 with a full refurbishment in 2019, Silver Shadow was 610 feet in length and boasts a guest capacity of 392 and a crew complement of 302. That truly makes her the epitome of small ship luxury. Her small size allows for her to visit some smaller, interesting ports, such as, in our case, the island of Bequi in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Now, when you stack her up against other luxury ships of roughly the same length, she truly shines, with almost 150 less staterooms and almost 300 less guests, as compared to similar luxury ships. So what this means is you are definitely going to find more elbow room in the public areas and restaurants and larger staterooms. Coming on board several Shadow, you will find 10 decks in total, with decks 4 through 10 being the public spaces and deck 3 being used for getting on and off the ship. Navigating the ship is pretty straightforward, but can take a little getting used to, particularly if you are in a Vista suite on deck 4. The ship has two staircases and two sets of elevators, which are both centrally located on the ship. The aft staircase, or grand staircase, is the main set providing access to all public decks. The forward staircase in the smaller elevator provides access to all decks as well, but on some decks, you're going to find yourself walking through sweet hallways to access different areas of the ship. Or in some cases, you may actually may come across a door that says crew access only. It's kind of a quirk, but you quickly learn that you can use these crew access doors anyway as a shortcut. For example, to the restaurant on deck four and to the grill and pool on deck eight. So as we explore the public areas, this is where Silver Shadow truly shines. Refurbished in 2019, like I said, and then docked for much of the COVID period, finds her feeling like almost a brand new ship. And from the moment you step on board, you're enveloped in an atmosphere of refined elegance with a warm brown and pastel color palette. The atrium, located on deck five, is known as the heart of the ship. Adorned with gleaming marble and contemporary artwork, sets the tone for the rest of the ship. Home to reception, the shore concierge, and the future cruise test, you will also find boutiques, their duty-free shopping area, and my personal favorite, the Arts Cafe. We found this area a great spot to just sit back, relax, enjoy a light snack, and just watch the world go by. Now, moving aft on deck five, you'll find what's known as the bar. A great spot in the evening to enjoy cocktails and engage in conversation. We found the live music on most evenings to be absolutely excellent. You know, there really are no poor areas on board this ship. With a smaller number of staterooms on board and the limited guests, all of the areas are spacious and they really never ever felt crowded, even during the sea days and especially around the pool deck. Two of our favorites had to be the Panorama Lounge and the Observation Library. Both areas provide uninterrupted views of the day's destination. Plus, you can either sit outside and enjoy a drink or simply curl up with a good book. By day, the Panorama Lounge is home to numerous enrichment events, team trivia, and other meetups. In the evening, it becomes kind of a natural pre-dinner gathering spot for guests to mingle with each other, meet the crew, and interact with the cruise director. Later in the evening, it's home to a DJ and, of course, dancing. Now, let's talk about dining. Silver Sea is renowned for its exceptional culinary experiences, and the Silver Shadow is no exception. The main dining venue, known as the restaurant, is an open seating dining room. You can choose to either dine alone or join other guests. You'll find it is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on most days. And if a leisurely breakfast is something you enjoy, I highly recommend it. You get the same five-star service for both breakfast and lunch, and it's never busy. What we most enjoyed about this restaurant was the open seating and the camaraderie with the other guests we had the pleasure of dining with. So many evenings were spent lingering over a coffee, exchanging stories, and our views. We loved it. In addition to the restaurant, there are three other dining venues on board. The first is La Terraza. By day, it is open for breakfast and lunch with a variety of menu items and a buffet. In the evening, it transforms into an authentic Italian-flavored restaurant with an absolutely divine selection of Italy's best cuisine served a la carte. Located on the stern of the ship, you can either choose to dine inside or outside. We love the evening dining experience outside. You will, however, need reservations for the evening seatings, 
and you can make them yourself or your butler can do this for you. I would encourage you to make your reservations as soon as possible on boarding the ship or even better, use your My Silver Sea account to make your reservations prior to boarding the ship. Next up on Silver Shadow also features two specialty restaurants, La Dame and The Grill. The Grill by day offers an a la carte selection of gourmet salads and burgers. By night, The Grill lets you enjoy in an interactive Hot Rocks outdoor dining experience with a selection of succulent steaks and fresh seafood. As with La Terraza, you're going to need reservations for the evening seating. And finally, there's La Dame, featuring a bespoke menu by Silver Sea's top chefs. La Dame offers a sophisticated French dining experience with impeccable white glove service. Reservations are required. This is the one venue with a cover charge currently at $60 per person. Now, let's talk about the piece de resistance, the sweets. Welcome, Mr. Ken. Welcome to Silver Shadow on a suite. Silver Sea's commitment to luxury is epitomized in the Silver Shadow suites. The accommodations range from a spacious ocean view suites to the lavish owner suites each meticulously designed to provide you with the utmost comfort and style. The attention to detail is absolutely astounding. From the premium bed linens to the personalized butler service, we particularly love the walk-in closet and huge bathroom with a shower, dual sinks, and a bathtub. What a treat. Now, every aspect of your stay is curated to perfection, and your butler and room steward will go out of their way to make you feel at home, from unpacking your luggage to stocking your bar with your favorite personal spirit. The one nitpick, if I had to have a nitpick of looking over all of these wonderful suites, was that the verandas tend to be somewhat narrow. Not really a big deal, but if you're someone who likes to stretch out on your veranda with lots of room, then you might want to seek out one of the numerous secluded areas on the ship where you can do just that. And the best part is there's always a crew member close by, only too happy to tend to your drink refill or any other needs. Now, many of you have asked us if they will feel comfortable on Silver Sea. It's going to be full of stuffy snobs and should I really bring my kids? To the contrary, we found that the average age range on board was from about 40 to 65. We saw some younger couples on their honeymoon and we also saw some healthy folks in their 90s. What we did not see was kids, although Silver Sea does allow for guests from ranging from six months and up. I do not recommend it, as Silver Sea does not offer any kinds of services and programs to keep kids entertained. Now, as to stuffy people and snobs, to a person, all of the folks that we met on board were well-educated, worldly, interested in sharing life experiences and learning about us. It was truly a gratifying experience, and we'd do it over again in a heartbeat. Next question we get asked a lot is, are they truly all-inclusive? The simple answer to that is yes. Once you are on the ship, you do not have to put your hand in your pocket for anything. There are optional items such as spa services you can purchase on board, the duty-free boutique, obviously, and La Dame reservations. But other than that, it's all included. Food, wine, spirits, entertainment, shore excursions, gratuities. It's all there. The other question we get asked is about the dress code. Yes. Silver Sea does adhere to a dress code, casual, informal, and formal. I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can read up about it. Our experience was that every guest adhered to the dress code out of respect to the other guests. For our part, we enjoy dressing up now and again, as we don't get to do it much day to day. We did not find, however, that adhering to the dress code was a big deal, however, other than the fact that I had to pack an extra suitcase for my sport jacket and suit. And there you have it, folks, a glimpse into the world of Silver Sea and the remarkable Silver Shadow. You know, I have said many times on this show that I miss the old style of cruising, where you dressed up a little, the crew always knew your name, they may, kind of made you feel special, and one where you didn't feel that someone was always trying to sell you something at every turn. So if you're looking for that type of travel experience, that combines luxury, comfort, and adventure, and outstanding old style service, Silver Sea's cruise line certainly worth considering. And that about wraps it up for today, folks. A very special thanks to Manny for welcoming us on board, Silver Shadow. We met so many of these wonderful crew of the Silver Shadow. Be sure to check out the link in the description for our behind-the-scenes interviews with more of the Silver Shadow team when it's available. In the meantime, if you'd like to know more about Silver Sea or book a Silver Sea cruise, you can visit our website, realtravelexperts.com, to find a travel expert near you, or simply leave us a comment. We always respond and love to hear your feedback. And as always, folks, if you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. It really helps us to spread the word. So until next time, I'm simply going to wish each and every one of you safe and happy travels. May the wind always be at your back. And maybe, 
just maybe I will see you on a Lido deck sometime in the future.